So uh, we were going to do a review on the weapon, but uh, we were lucky to get it on video, but um, there, there, there's your casing. Oh, well, that's another casing. But yeah, look, that's basically what happened. All right. So, hey, guys, uh, Galactic Force Media, and I have an interesting video today. This is my Springfield M1A SOCOM, or at least it was my M1A SOCOM. The reason why I'm doing this video is, well, we were going to do a review initially of the gun itself, but unfortunately, the first time we brought it to the range, it exploded. Um, it's just uh, 17 rounds. There was me and a group of friends from work, and we brought the gun down and everything. It was a great day. And we brought this guy out last, and we were going to shoot it. I got off a couple of rounds. One of my coworkers got a couple of rounds off, and then my second coworker got a couple of rounds off, pulled the trigger, and we had a catastrophic failure of the weapon, and it completely blew out the bottom to include the magazine and multiple rounds that were still in the magazine itself which you will see on video. So I'm not here to give my opinion. I'm not here to give what I think happened. I'm only here to give uh, facts. And I don't have, I'm not going to talk bad about any company. I'm not going to say any, you know, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm upset and I'm a little angry. Um, you know, this was something I was looking forward to. It was a Christmas present from my wife this past Christmas. So I was, you know, really wanted this to work so unfortunately uh, that's we're here doing this video instead of a cool review video so facts only I'm not going to make any allegations I have been in contact with both companies which would be the ammunition company and the gun company so with that said um, let's get into exactly what happened so the gun was brand new it was purchased around Christmas time of 2022 given to me on Christmas Day we bought the rifle from Palmetto State Armory, at least my wife did. Got a very good deal on it. Uh, picked it up from the FFL. She, you know, did whatever inspection she knew about, you know, the rifle. Uh, signed for it, took it home, gave it to me on Christmas. I looked at the weapon. Everything looked great. Looked forward to bringing it to the range. Uh, I did purchase various types of ammunition, but the only ammunition that was ever loaded in to the magazine, which, mind you, is a actual Springfield or was an actual Springfield magazine um, was this company called ZSR and this was the ammo that again again no allegations this was the ammo that was in the magazine when the trigger was pulled that caused the explosion again do not know if it was the the firearm do not know if it was the round I will tell you though that the ZSR it was or is 762 by 51 millimeter M80 this is a 20 round box and I'm going to read you some info information from the box in case you do have the lot if it is the ammo. Again, I'm not saying it is the ammo, but this is the lot number that was used. So ZSR 22J030-001 lot number 015. So I am in contact with ZSR and they're looking into it. Got to the range, fired some rounds, 17th round, we, uh, trigger was pulled. There was a quick uh, ball of flames that shot uh, right uh, out, so out here. And then an explosion and fire dropping down the magazine, blowing out the bottom. And then rounds actually separated themselves from their casings and dropped out the bottom. So right now, I can pull it back. It's very difficult to pull back, but I cannot lock back the bolt. The bottom is blown out. And the, is the rifle itself is actually cracked and completely wadded out this way on both ends. 
And here's your crack up here. So what I'll do now, because I'm not going to sit here and complain, I'm going to just roll the video of what happened. And then you guys can judge. Maybe there's an internet sleuth on here that can tell us what they think happened. Again, we are going to let Springfield and ZSR do their own in independent investigation, and we'll, we'll, you know, we will take it from there. Um, I hope my gun gets replaced or something comparable. I hope that if it was the gun or if it was the ammunition, I hope the companies will at least look into the situation and fix if there is an underlying problem or at least mention the issue or recall. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is I feel it was necessary to let you guys know what happened with this firearm in case you do have one or in case you are shooting this ammunition. So with that said, roll the video. If you have any questions or want to reach out, just leave me a comment or you can email me at galacticforcemedia at gmail.com. All right, guys, thank you. I appreciate it. Here's the clip. So, uh, yeah. You got that so calm, huh? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. How'd you like? I like it. Watch for brass, Devin. I'm good. Where am I at? Send it. Ooh, ooh, what the f Am I bleeding? No. You're good. You're good. Holy f I felt it. Stop. Did you feel it? Look, no, right here. Holy shit. It wasn't the magazine. It was around. Well, I'm not angry. I'm more concerned about you being uh, good or not. Uh, if I pass out in a few minutes and there's red stuff there's on the, the ground, just bring it to the hospital. <laughs> there's a lot of bullets. It literally blew. Th it blew. Th Holy crap, guys. So that, kept, that kept feeding. There's shit still in the tube. You gotta stand by. Right? <laughs> what? Don't pull the trigger, Devin. <laughs> Holy crap. Is it still jammed in there? No. It just, no. That just blew up. That gun's done. If it was a squib, it would have blown in the barrel. It would have blown not, the barrel, blew in the chamber. But it just blew down. Yeah. Well, that blew the Holy f let's go to the bar. So, hey, Anthony, tell us what happened. Well, we had a catastrophic failure on our brand new Springfield, not even 20 pounds. We used a Springfield magazine, and we were using ZSR 147 grain 62 by 51 uh, which is on, which is for the specs of the gun. And Greg just pulled the trigger. I don't know. It, it must have been three or four rounds left in the magazine, and it blew the whole gun up. And I mean, I'm just more. I'm happy that none of us are hurt. So, I guess we're going to Springfield with this, or I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's thank God we got that on camera. You know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck my bleeding? No.